Hi everyone, so I thought it would be fun today to go through my top 10 Bibles that I have. A lot of you ask questions about these on my Instagram when I post pictures of them. You're like, what Bible is this? Can you give me more information on this Bible? Have you done a video on this Bible? So I have done a video on a few of these Bibles, which I will link down below. I actually have a playlist that goes through all of my Bible recommendations and reviews, so I'll link that down below. And I will also put links to each of these Bibles in the description box as well in case you want to buy them. There might be a few that I'm not sure if you can get anymore, but I will try my best to link them for you in the description box and I'm just gonna quickly kind of talk through each one and then if you have any questions please feel free to pop them in the comments for me and I will give you a little bit more information yeah it feels like you're the one who saves me okay so the first bible I'm going to talk about is this one it is so gorgeous it is the NIV journaling and verse mapping bible and it's got this beautiful floral print on like this and I really like this one because it has nice wide margins for you to take notes in and things I stole Jesus Loves Coffee's idea and just did post-it notes as my dividers for each book which I thought was a genius idea and this bible also has pages where you can actually do verse mapping shows you kind of how to do it talks you through it it also has pages like this where you can color them in and add to it so I've done that at the very beginning it just adds that kind of artistic flair to your bible if that's something that you're interested in doing but are not artistic like myself and um, so it has them kind of all the way through and then there's pages where I've kind of attempted to do some bible journaling myself um but yeah, it's just a really lovely Bible. So I do have a full walkthrough of this Bible on my channel if you're interested in it. I will link that video down below as well. But that is Bible number one. So I'd recommend this for anybody who kind of is interested in verse mapping, interested in Bible journaling, and they want a really kind of pretty girly Bible. It comes in other covers as well. There was a gorgeous marble one that I went straight for until I saw that one and then I switched for that one. Okay so I'm going to go over some teen Bibles now. So this one I do have a full review on. It's for teenage girls and this was my Bible when I was a teenager and I absolutely loved it. So it's hot pink and then all of the writing inside as well is blue with hot pink. So it just kind of it's a very girly Bible. It has these gorgeous illustrations as well, all the way through, like lovely and colourful. And then of course, I would highlight it in hot pink as well because I just always loved pink. It also has facts and things in here. It does character profiles and it has little topic areas. So this one's about divorce, if your parents get divorced and is it okay for them to get back together. It has kind of little topic posts as well, all the way through. I really loved this Bible when I was younger. It has an index in the back as well, which talks you through kind of life topics. So if you're going through something, like sometimes you don't want to ask your parents questions but if you can go in your bible and go straight to a topic for example the stuff on conflict with your friends dating alcohol parents rejection revenge self-worth there's all different kinds of topics in here that you can go to and it has nice little passages about those things in a biblical way so I really love this one. I highly recommend it for any teenagers out there. And then I have this one, which was probably my most favourite treasured Bible as a teenager. You can see how worn it is. It's all like cracked and stuff. This one, I just love the feel of this one. Like it's so bendy and flexible. I used to bring this to church with me all the time. It's all marked up inside. It's got all my notes from when I was younger. I really adored this Bible and it has it's not colourful inside, it's all just black and white. But again, it has those life guides in about all different kinds of topics that you're going through as a youth. At my church, we were actually recommended this Bible and myself and a few others actually bought this at kind of a Christian convention thing that we all went to. We all had the same version and we could kind of share notes and things at our youth group. So this was a great Bible. I don't know if this will still be available because it must be phew, 20 years old now, but I but if it is still available, I do recommend this. And this was given to me in 1998, so yeah, long time ago. Okay, then I have this cute little King James Version Bible. I think this is the only King James Version that I've got. And the reason I bought this is because this is the Bible that my grandma had. And I've got her Bible. I haven't got it here in this pile, but it's this exact Bible, but with her notes in. So I wanted to have the same one as her. 
just for kind of sentimental reasons and obviously I think everybody should have a King James version as well. Obviously it's a lot harder to read. I did do quite a lot of study in this with Chuck Missler and his Bible in 24 hours series and he uses the King James version so it was really easy to kind of follow along with him and everything that he was saying because this was obviously the same version but I just love how small and handy this one is it's just really light and it can easily fit in a handbag so this is a great little handy King James version to have then I have this NLT Bible and I definitely have a tour on this in, on my channel it's a full look through of this Bible I got this because of the baby pink color I absolutely loved it and the fact that it was hardback because I also have it in this version and I will put up here on the screen what it did originally look like but this one obviously all started to fall to pieces when the cover all fell off so I thought I would get it in hardcover and see if this would last any better because I just love this bible so much out of all my bibles this is by far my favourite but this one unfortunately also started falling to pieces after a few months of use it has held together a bit better than the leather bound one but it has held together better than the leather bound one i think this was a special edition because when i went to link this on my channel i couldn't actually find it anymore so i feel really privileged that i managed to get it in this gorgeous dusty pink color but the reason that i like this bible so much is because it has so many study notes so this is a study bible so at the beginning of each book you get a few pages that really go into kind of the context so what was happening at the time that this book was written who was the ruler what were the beliefs what was going on you get a timeline as well down the bottom and it just gives you a full background of everything that kind of was happening at the time and then you go into the bible and at the bottom of each page I don't know if you can see but it has loads of study notes on each verse so if you read in a verse and you think hmm who was that or what does that mean you can go down to the bottom and it gives you an explanation so I get so much more out of reading these bibles because of those study notes because it's like having someone knowledgeable sitting beside you kind of explaining as you go so I absolutely adore these bibles and as you can see this one was very well loved and I still do use this one but I try and be really kind of careful with it because like I say it is kind of fallen to pieces but I just love how easy this one is I just washi tape the pages back in and stuff but you can kind of fold it back on itself and just sit on the couch with your highlighters and just read it so this one has been probably my most cherished and loved bible and this one has the most notes in it oh I've just realized I didn't tell you what it's called so it's called the NLT illustrated study bible then the next one that I will show you is this one, which is the Life Application Study Bible in the NLT as well. NLT is probably my most favourite translation just because it is so easy to read. It's in simple language and when you're reading it, you, there's no kind of big words and things where you just get stuck. So this one's really cute. It has at the beginning of each book a map of where the book is set and it has some kind of key events and things listed for you and it just gives you a little bit of information before you start reading the book. And I also love this one because of the hot pink color. This was my Bible in my 20s and I just really liked the hot pinkness of it all. And I feel like this one was a good transition from a youth Bible into kind of a more adult Bible. So it also goes over topics throughout the Bible, but they're not kind of teenage topics, the more kind of lifestyle, loneliness, love, making mistakes, marriage, that kind of thing. Um, so they're not necessarily teenage topics, but they're still kind of transitioning. It's perfect for if you're in your 20s. So yeah, I do recommend this one for if you're kind of that age group. And then I have this one, which I've showed quite a lot on my channel. It's just an NIV large print Bible, but it's thin. So this is kind of just my reading Bible. I don't mark this one up at all, but I just love how big the writing is in this. It's really simple to read. It's got bold font. And it's just ideal to pick up when you don't want to do any highlighting or Bible study. You just want to read your Bible. This one is really easy to kind of use. So I often use this one before I go to sleep just to kind of catch up on some reading without kind of any need to highlight and stuff so then i have this one which is my luxury bible this is a goatskin leather it is so 
buttery, soft and squidgy. It's just the most beautiful Bible. This did cost a pretty penny. It is a Cambridge wide margin edition Bible in the ESV. And I like this one because you can write all the way around the text. So the text kind of in the middle of the page and you have all of the margins around the whole page to kind of add notes and things. So I love this one when I'm doing kind of deep Bible studies because it just has so much extra space compared to other Bibles to write in. However, the font is very, very small. Unless your eyesight is good, it is quite hard to kind of read but it is just such a beautiful luxurious bible and i just got these dividers from etsy just to kind of girly it up a bit because it is very black and simple and then the last bible that i want to talk about is this nlt study bible this is different to the illustrated study bible because it doesn't have all of those beautiful obviously illustrations in but it is just a really useful study bible so i used this one all 2020 i think it was either 2020 or last year um, I got this for Christmas off my brother and it is just kind of a no frills study bible so you have all of the study notes again at the bottom of each page to go over each verse and you also get sections that just tell you a little bit more information about things um, but it's not kind of any added fluff it's just your basic kind of study bible and this was the first bible I used to actually read through the bible in a year. So I started at Genesis and I finished at Revelation and um, in one year I just read through it all, marked it all up um, and I really enjoyed doing that and I learned a lot that year because obviously it has all those extra study notes so I do recommend this bible it was a really good one so I'll try and link all of those bibles down below hope you've enjoyed this video let me know which one is your favorite and I will see you next time bye Bill, watch me under the light so keep me in your